Hi and welcome to Life Less Ordinary. Now this video is a little different to some of the others that we have on our channel because uh, we are on holiday so I wanted to show you how we holiday with a large family. Uh, now number one tents. Tents are important and we have used inexpensive tents before. We have upgraded in the last four or five years to these Coleman instant up tents. So we have uh, two six person tents and uh, a, an eight person tent. Now granted we don't have that many people in those tents but when you're going to stay for an extended period of time we'll be here for around three weeks. You will need to take into account and we need to take into account the fact that not only do we need where the children are going to be sleeping, but we also need to accommodate their clothes. So one of the inevitabilities of camping with a large family for an extended period of time is the need to do clothes washing. Now we can use a portable washing machine. It's, it's a round thing, you, you, uh, it takes a bit of work. Um, We've tried it uh, and for us it just doesn't work. It takes hours to do it uh, and a huge amount of water which is an issue when you camp in the style that we do. Uh, free camping which means that we have to bring in and resource our own water for these sorts of things. So for us what we do is when we choose where we're going camping uh, in, a, in a national park or wherever we figure out uh, a close town that might have a laundromat or um, a coin operated laundry. So here we, I'm in one now and we're doing our laundry. We've been here for about 45 minutes and we've done four loads of washing in these eight kilo machines. Um, so eight kilo machines at $5 a load. Um, so we've, done, we've used the machines um, and uh, they take about 32 minutes or so at $5 each one and then once they're done sorting out what clothes can actually go into the dryers uh, and these dryers are fantastic. Uh, it is a dollar for about nine minutes and, and you can get quite a bit in there. Um, so for two dollars main maybe for that load, for, for one of those loads, you can get your clothes dry. So five dollars, six, seven dollars a load and we're in and out within two hours having done four loads of clothing. Uh, we generally tend to work it so that we do one wash a week. Uh, so come in on the Friday, do our washing and then that will last again. Uh, we have enough clothes to last us until we come back the following Friday in that we stay for three weeks wherever we tend to go. thing you do need to remember is it's a coin operated uh, laundromat so you will need to have access to coins. So you can get some before you come. Most coin operated laundromats will uh, have a coin uh, a change machine. So you know, you can just wait till you get here and see what you have to do. Uh, but or you could also be prepared and have your coins ready to go. So that's what we do when it comes to washing our clothes, which we do need to do while we're on a long holiday. We only have two people in these, two of the boys in this tent. We have three in this tent over here, and then Dean and I are in this. Back, back tent over here which is the 10 person tent because we are camping and what I would refer to as feral camping in that there is no electricity and no water we need to bring our own water in uh, we do like to sleep and sleep comfortably <laughs> so uh, I'll show you what the setup is uh, and you'll understand so we have over here we have um, a stretcher bed. This is a wild country uh, stretcher bed and on top of it uh, we also have a self-inflating uh, mattress. It just makes things more comfortable, particularly when you're going to be uh, camping for the extended period of time that we are. Uh, our, our other son uh, is more than happy to use a $10 inflatable 
uh, air mattress from Big W. Tip for that one would be they're only ten dollars. Buy a couple, have them in the bus, have them in the car. Uh, in case you uh, have them go down. <laughs> uh, so Simeon has already had to replace his one because we have used up all of our repair kits. So spare air mattresses if that's the way you go um, is always handy. Uh, in this room here, uh, two of the girls are in here and again I believe it's a high country but I'll double check and put the description in uh, I'll put, I'll put our link in the description below. We have uh, a set of bunks. These are slightly difficult to put together. You need a bit of muscle to get it together, but once it's up, it is really good. So for a three week holiday, this is fantastic because it means that there's more space in, in there for clothes uh, and shoes. Um, so uh, yeah, so double bunk and another stretch bed over here with the self-inflating mattress on top uh, is what we have in this tent. And then coming around, we'll be coming past our two, um, so this is our toilet tent and our shower tent. So the toilet tent, um, it's just a camping toilet. I believe we got it from Big W um, uh, and we've had it for a number of years and it is super easy, super easy to get the chemicals to go in it uh, and yeah, super easy to empty. Shower tent, um, in the past we've used uh, solar bags, they're 20 litre bags, they have been really, really painful in terms of the solar, particularly when you have the volume of people we would probably need um, probably about 10 of them because they need to be sat out in the sun for a good number of hours for them to actually heat up to any workable temperature. So this year we have invested in um, a, an instantaneous hot water system that runs off an LPG and the car battery. Uh, I will show you that uh, working a little bit later. An investment that we made for this camping trip was an, a portable instantaneous hot water system. As you can see, we've propped it up on a star picket. You can buy uh, a T-post to go with it, but uh, this is what we're using. It's run using LPG, powered uh, with the pump by the car battery. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run this. It's very simple. It's been set up by Dean and uh, we use the jerry cans here. We have 20 litre jerry cans. We just remove the uh, pipe and put it into another, another jerry can when we need to. So I'm going to run this now and you'll be able to see how, uh, what it sounds like and how it actually works. So we've got ours set up for summer so that you're not using a huge amount of energy from the LPG uh, and we run it at about 37 degrees which is quite reasonable to be able to have a shower with. Uh, at the moment it's getting up it's 35, it will get to 37 shortly. Nice and warm, <laughs> just what you want when you're camping. Uh, so that's the the shower tent. Around here we have, oh sorry, yes, this is the eight person tent uh, and we have invested in a uh, rather <laughs> deep air mattress because there is nothing worse when you're camping for three weeks like we do generally uh, than sleeping on the ground. Uh, so we like to have a nice comfortable sleep um, and that's how we do it. Uh, this is, I believe it's a Coleman uh, air mattress as well. Queen size, nice and comfortable because good night sleeps are a necessary thing when you're on a family camping holiday. Now, what we'll do is, is we'll go over to our gazebo. So 
So this here is a six meter by three meter gazebo. We have four um, tarped walls on it. So that creates um, a bit of a windbreak for us. Uh, and when it's raining, it's a nice shelter. We have two of the large tables for our family, um, chairs for each of the kids. And then this is our cooking storage area. Uh, we have this companion wok, a double wok um, gas cooktop. Uh, it's for camping. We have had this for a number of years and this is pretty much a game changer when it comes to camping for us. Runs off the LPG and we can use our big pots. Well, actually these are our medium sized pots from home. Uh, so camping, we need a number of different sized pots and fry pans. We don't bring a barbecue because it just gets really, really messy when, when we bring our uh, big barbecue. So any cooking needs to be done around what we have here. In terms of refrigeration, we have two 120 litre eskies. Um, we try to keep uh, stored things in one and the things that we're going to be using more frequently in the other. We fill them with uh, ice uh, that we pick up every three days or so. We generally put one solid bag in there, one solid bag in there, and then um, spread the third bag uh, between the two. So milk, juice, uh, and meats in the other, it's, it, it works for us. And we generally get about three days, um, three to four days, um, if it's not too hot, uh, of um, coolness out of for, the, for all the food that we're bringing. The other thing that we use are containers that we store all our dry goods in. So cereals, uh, snacks, some fruit, um, all your sauces, um, and one of the containers has uh, all of our um, camping plates and bowls and cups and cutlery and utensils in it. So in terms of that, it's just being, uh, being um, pla well planned in terms of what you need to bring. But these are the things that we have found helpful. Uh, I did show you the two tables that we sit around for meals. Uh, we also, have our games out because uh, we do like to play board games. Um, small things are easier uh, so that you're not packing massive games, but you know, card games, you know, banana grams, Yahtzee. Uh, and then uh, we also have two other tables that uh, we use for food prep um, as well. So um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, this is how we do camping uh, with a large family. Thanks for joining us in our life less ordinary.